In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Meld. Meld is a diff and merge tool that has a nice graphical user interface. We can use it to compare files, directories, and version controlled projects. You're watching Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And the first thing that we're going to do is to download Meld. So let's go ahead and look up Meld Download. I'm going to click on the first result here. And then we're going to scroll down here. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select this right here, Melt 3.20.4. This is going to begin the download process. The download is now complete. I'm going to go ahead and run this executable file. I'm going to leave the default install directory and then click Next. The installation is now complete, so let's go ahead and click Finish. And here is where Melt was installed. This is in Program Files and the Melt directory. This is the Melt executable file right here. Next, I'm going to show you how to tell Git where to find Melt in order to resolve merge conflicts. And in order to do that, we're going to go to the C drive and then navigate to Users. And then you click on your name and you're going to find a file called git config. This file gets placed in this directory anytime you have git installed on your system. Let's go ahead and open this file. And this is what the file may look like when you open it. And all it has right now is some user information. Next, we're going to need to add the following. Let's begin at the first line. And first we use this diff. And what this says is that we're going to use a tool called melt whenever we're comparing files. And then we're giving it the path of where this tool is located. We call that melt was installed in this directory right here. Next we have this prompt is equal to false. This means that anytime that we use the git merge tool command, we're not going to be prompted for which tool to use. We want melt to open automatically. Or in other words, for it to be the default diff tool. Next we have merge. And this is saying that we also want to use Meld as a merge tool. And again, we provide the path for the merge tool. And lastly, we say that we do not want to keep backup files. So by default, anytime that we have a merge conflict, Git will save a backup of the conflicted file. In our case, we're saying that we do not want to keep those backup files. Let's go ahead and save these changes. And that's all you really need to do in order to set up Meld. Now, let's go ahead and verify the installation. And this is a project that I have created for automation purposes. And this is a Git project. I'm going to right click here and say git bash here. And then I'm going to type git merge tool and then press enter. And you should see it something like this. It says no files need merging. In my case, I don't have any files to merge at this time or any merge conflicts. So that's why we're not seeing melt open up. But if we had some merge conflicts, we would see melt open up automatically. And in a future video, I'm going to show you how to use melt in order to resolve conflicts. So if you get some other message here that says that the merge tool is not set up properly or it hasn't been configured, please rewatch this video to make sure you didn't miss anything. Also feel free to leave your questions and comments in the section below. Thanks so much for watching Automate Now. I'll see you in the next video.